So Eddie, Rich, obviously commiserations for tonight. Um, it's a good performance out there, just couldn't get the breakthrough, could we? No, I, um, I've i said to, to the to lads in the changing rooms that I'm incredibly proud of them. Um, we've worked the last couple of days and um, unfortunately it felt that we were perhaps a little bit too passive to begin with. Um, at half time we've come in, uh, we've tweaked a few things to try and get a little bit more aggressive, get them a bit more pressure on their defensive line. Um, feel as though it helped, I think it helped us uh, not get pinned in for as much uh, of the second half. We've limited their chances in the second half. Um, I think bar one moment um, and, and a few missed opportunities with a bit of lack of quality in the final third, I think um, it could have been a different story. But uh, I guess the unfortunate thing for us is that uh, this day was, was always going to come. Uh, we were never going to win the FA Youth Cup. But we would have definitely liked our journey to have continued a bit further than uh, than this round. But um, I mean, I can't ask any more of, uh, of the lads this evening. Uh, I'm definitely not of uh, Eddie stood next to me, who I thought was tremendous this evening. Eddie, your thoughts? Yeah, I thought definitely we definitely put in a good effort and shift, and we worked hard and we fought and yeah, we put in good challenges against Swindon and. Yeah, I definitely thought in the second half we pushed through and we were dominating and we had a spell where we had chances and we were blocking them, we were defending them, they didn't have a single shot and I think on another day definitely we could have got through and won the game, but not today. So. Obviously Swindon, a Category 3 academy, you know, is that step above, isn't it? But you know, it didn't really seem like that on the pitch, did it? No, I think that Swindon this season have been superb uh, in their league campaign. Uh, they lost their first game and they lost the, the most recent one with a ch very changed team. Um, otherwise, that they've been beating teams, three, fours, fives, uh, comfortably in their Alliance League. So for us to, to push them as close as what <coughs> we did and come away from that feeling as though uh, on another day um, the result might have gone in our favour, I think that's credit to us. I think it also is a demonstration that uh, as a club, our academy is operating at that level, uh, the levels of your Portsmouth, your Swindons, your Bristol Rovers. Um, I think the day that, that the club gets promoted, uh, I think the academy will be in a very good state, state uh, to be able to progress to be Cat 3. Um, certainly lower down we do look to, to keep giving our boys opportunities to play teams of that standard uh, and expose them to that level. It's something that from 17s, 18s and 21s, uh, we're certainly going to look to try and do a lot more uh, and expose our boys a lot earlier to this type of competition for nights like this, whereby they're used to it, they're accustomed to it uh, and it doesn't become a special occasion uh, and a one-off game. It's something that they've done time and time and time again um, and in doing so, uh, we would hope that uh, the next time we have an FA Youth Cup game against a team from League 2 or League 1, Cat 3 side, that the result will go in our favour. And Eddie, it must be feel good to have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with those players. I know I've been made, I don't know if you were aware, but I've been made aware that some of them have you know, <coughs> made their EFL debuts and they've been playing in the EFL Cup, so it must feel good to have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Yeah, definitely. We heard that as well, so I feel like us going and pushing forward and yeah, getting in with them and getting stuck in and dominating the second half, I think, and not giving them any chances. Yeah, I thought we definitely had a good shot at it, but yeah, on another day, again, I think we could have won. But. Of course, the Youth Cup isn't the be-all end-all, is it? We've, we've still got league campaigns and other cups to, to push on in, so you know, I'm sure the dressing room is, is ready to bounce back for the rest of the season, aren't they? Yeah, it's, it's obviously understandably very disappointed. Um, as, a, as a 17, 18-year-old, you only get couple of opportunities, some of them maybe only get one opportunity in FA Youth Cup and it's a competition that everybody wants to play in. Um, but for us we've got a league campaign still in the National League uh, as an under 18 side playing in an under 19 league, um, got at least another 21-22 games in that this season. We've also got the Hampshire Youth Cup which we've got the next round a week on Friday. Um, it's a competition that last year we got to the final and we'd very much like to do that again so that, uh, that these lads can, can finish the season off with a shot for a trophy. 
And Eddie, obviously, you got your goal in the last round, didn't you? And, and, and you know, you've performed well in these three games. So, you know, is it about now pushing on and, and making a bit more of a name for yourself within the academy ranks? Yeah, I think this is a negative and we've, we've lost today. But if we see it and grow from it and progress and change our mindset of, yeah, we want to show ourselves and prove ourselves, I think we can turn this into a positive if we push forward and, yeah, keep going. So.